With the Lions schedule coming out here on the 15th, so here in less than a week, we're going to be going through an article from All Lions Fan Nation ranking the Lions' six most difficult 2024 opponents. I have yet to actually read it or even look at it, so I don't know who he's even on the list. So we're going to go through that, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts about the Lions' tough schedule and what I'm looking forward to, what other people are looking forward to, and I can't wait to hear what you guys are looking forward to in the comments section. So let's get this thing started. You know, according to analytics right now, the Detroit Lions get the third hardest schedule in the NFC and the 12th hardest schedule in the NFL. So relatively, they got a much tougher schedule than they do last year. Why? Because they're better. They had a winning record, all of that. This is what happens when you're a good team is your competition gets a little bit better. And so the Lions got a tough schedule this up and coming season. And personally, before I even get to this list, I do think that the Detroit Lions could have a little bit less wins, like 11 wins compared to last year's 12, and still be even a better football team because the competition in the schedule is tougher, and obviously the NFC North is tougher. So I do think that the Lions are going to be a better team, but uh, maybe have just one less win less. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go through the most difficult 2024 opponents here from All Lions Fan Nation and see what they got here because I have no idea. Let's go ahead and get this thing here. Um... Uh, Los Angeles Rams home. Yeah, I think a lot of people are looking forward to this game. and It's going to be a tough game. The Rams are a good team. Obviously, they're in the playoffs last year. We beat them at 24 to 23, and Stafford's going to want a little bit of revenge, and you know the crowd's going to be hyped for this. It's going to be a tough game for sure, and the Lions, though, their defense has taken a step forward, and maybe we can get a couple interceptions from Matthew Stafford this year and compared to last year where in the playoffs we didn't get a, a single turnover on him, and he is definitely prone to turnovers. And you know the Rams were out of revenge, right? Like, this is going to be a game that they're all gunning for. This could be the first game of the year. We don't know. Uh, the 15th is when the schedule comes out. There's a great chance this could be a, the first game of the year or – you know, a primetime type of game, a Monday night football, Sunday night game, and we know how Jared Goff does it and in the spotlight he wins. So, yes, I agree. This is an absolute tough one. I haven't seen the rest of them on there, but it's going to be a fun game as well to, you know, face the Rams again. It's going to be fun. It's going to be two good teams going at it. They know each other uh, quite well. Uh, what is a, a game you guys looking forward to? Put a game in the comment section, any team in line schedule. Um, next one on the list is the Green Bay Packers. And you know what? I cannot agree more. After the their general manager talking all this garbage about Brad Holmes and, and Salty and putting up rumors out there, you know, we're tired of this. It, it's so funny is they're talking about us and we're just sitting there like, okay, we, we don't care what the Packers are doing, right? We're, the, Brad Holmes doesn't care what you're doing. He's not focused on what the Green Bay Packers are doing. He's focused on what the Detroit Lions are doing, and he's got your number. Got Brian Branch, jumped up, got him. Terry Arnold, jumped up, got him. Maybe he'd be a little more aggressive like Brad Holmes is. And I think now, you know, obviously there's a rivalry, Green Bay, right? It's the NFC North. We've been rivalry. But especially after, after this offseason, of their general manager talking a lot of garbage in their front office talking a lot of garbage. You best believe the Lions have that in their locker room. They ha they're going to have that for the players to read. That he's arrogant. You know the players are going to come out here and really want to show these people what's about. And they're a good team. Green Bay is a good team. Jordan Love's a good quarterback. They got some good weapons, good defense, and they they made the playoffs last year. It almost came down to us and them in the championship game if they didn't fall off at the end of San Francisco like we did. So, yeah, I, this is becoming a rivalry. If it keeps it if the the general manager keeps up, it's going to be one of the better ones in football because generally speaking, you don't have general managers or coaches uh, kind of talk crap about the other ones, you know, uh, openly as they have because they're that salty. They're that jealous. You know, when somebody talks about you all the time and they make you know they, they, they consistently have you on your brain, you beat them. And 
you, you know, you just show them that they're 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 classless and all that type of stuff. So um, when someone talks about you all the time, they're jelly, and that's just the way it is. And, and clearly that the Packers are jelly of Brad Holmes and upset that they didn't get Terry and Arnold. Well, guess what? You should have thought through that the Lions wanted to get a corner. We all knew it. I'm sitting here. We're sitting there at the casino. King, Dion, everybody. Uh, Speakeasy, Spend More Racks, AG. We're all sitting here, and we were waiting for the move to happen. And then it happened. We knew it was going to happen. You're telling me that uh, somebody that runs a front office for Green Bay, they didn't realize? Well, you should have jumped up, man. Your fault. Uh, Your fault. Stop being salty that we traded a third-round pick to get the guy that you wanted. Well, maybe you should trade a third-round pick. So, yeah, I cannot wait for this game. I am really, really excited. And give me a one-word reaction to the Green Bay Packers. Hashtag, ha- hashtag Green Bay or so- something. Let me know in the comment section how this is going to go. All right, next team here is the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Best believe the Lions do not forget what occurred in Dallas last year. Skipper was not going to be the extra tight end. It was Taylor Decker. He was eligible. When we would have won the game, we could have had a chance at the number one seed. Now, the Lions got the NFC Championship, so we had to go to San Francisco anyways. But best believe they didn't forget that game. And I cannot wait for the Lions travel to Dallas this year. I wanted to face them in the playoffs last year. I was like, oh, okay, that's how you guys are? Their fans are going crazy. So, uh, this is going to be a game to watch. And it sucks it's away because that's where Jerry's world is at. And you know how the referees are in Jerry's world. Everything seems to go their way. So we're going to have to we're going to have to really pound them. And I mean really beat them up. Really like make this game Lions win by you know drop a 40 type of burger on them to make sure that there's no referees that can screw it up. So we got to Smack them big and let them know that we didn't forget last year. I cannot wait for that game. Next one here is the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, yeah this is going to be a fun game. First off, we, there's no real rivalry between the Buffalo Bills. Um, just Buffalo's a good team. I, I don't know. I, I would have definitely not put it above the other the other games here. Uh, Buffalo would not for me be above Dallas and not be be a, above the. The Los Angeles Rams. I I think those are more competitive. But it's going to be a good game. Josh Allen, we faced them a couple years ago on Thanksgiving. We lost at the very end. I think Josh Allen is is a good quarterback. But he's prone to turnovers. I think the Lions going to win this game. And it's going to be a good game, probably in prime time, considering the fact it's one of the top teams in the AFC and we're the top, one of the top teams in the NFC. It's going to be a really good game. But can we control Josh Allen? Is it going to be like the other two games? No, I don't think so. There's not no hated rivalry. We don't hate these guys. We don't hate the general manager. We don't hate the players or anything like that. There's nothing. We, we face these guys every couple of years. So it's not a big rivalry. But it's going to be a fun game for sure. But I definitely would put the other teams ahead of Buffalo. Um, Houston Texans. I, I, first off, they, they could be a Super Bowl a sleeper. They could be a dark horse for the AFC in the Super Bowl. If you watch what the Houston Texans are doing, these guys are geniuses. They know exactly how to run a front office. They know exactly how to find talent, and they know how to coach. This is going to be a great game. This absolutely could be, a, you know, like I said, a, a Super Bowl showdown. Really, it could be a, a preview because Houston's damn good, and a lot of people may not want to give them credit, but they're really good. I love what they're doing over there. And the Detroit Lions are really good. This could be a fun game. Now, there's no rivalry. It's not like uh, the Buffalo Bills game here, but it's two young teams, up-and-coming teams, that I think could be good for many, many years because they know how to draft. We know how to draft. They have a good front office. We have a good front office. So this could be... It's like the the two premier teams in the NFL for the, for the next decade could be going at it, and this could be a start of a rivalry, right? Like, if <laughs> it really could... You know, it's not, it's an AFC team. It's not like we see them all the time, but at the same time, they're going to be good for a long time and we're going to be good for a long time. And sometimes when you have that, the NFL likes to ha- have these teams play against each other. I can see a situation where it goes back and forth. It's going to be fun. CJ Stroud's a great quarterback. Uh, Tank Dell, 
really good wide receiver. You know, hopefully Russ Russ up for being getting uh, hurt. Yeah, the incident with the fire gun first one. I, I don't want to say it because you're getting copywritten on here or whatever, and they get all butthurt about it. But I do think that this is going to be fun. This is going to be a great game, and I. I would love a Super Bowl like this. Texans and Lions, that would be like 40 to 42. Like, it would be a really fun game. Oh, let's go to the number one here. San Francisco 49ers away. And, yeah, you could put this as number one. This can be number one. Why is it the two best teams in the NFC? Lions faced them in the NFC Championship. We had a big lead and lost it. This is a game that absolutely, we're, look, we face them this year. In the regular season, we'll probably be facing them in the postseason. So this could be a situation you face this team twice. I would love to win these games. I think the Lions now have a little bit more talent than the San Francisco 49ers. We got an offensive line. They got an offensive line. I think ours is a little bit better, right? They got they got really good wide receivers. Uh, uh, Debo Samuel, uh, Brandon Ayuk, they just drafted one. So their offense is pretty good. Lions got good wide receivers. We, we got a good run game. They got a good run game. Our defense is upgraded. So it's going to be a really fun game this year. But I suspect it's not the only time we face them this year. And hopefully we beat them, right? The, the, this could be the team that's holding us back from the Super Bowl. And so this is a rivalry game. These two teams are going to be good for many years in the NFC. This just is what it is. We're now in that top tier, and so when you're in the top tier and, and you're going to be facing the top tier team, if this for the next decade, just like we talked about with the Houston Texans, this now this could be an every year type of deal because we could be facing them quite a bit in the playoffs for the next decade. So uh, this is going to be a fun, I think last year is the start of a rivalry, and it's going to continue, and it's going to build into a nice rivalry for the next decade. Because both teams, I think, are going to be good for a while. There, it's not like the Lions are going to start sucking and San Francisco is going to start sucking. Both teams are ran well by uh, two great GMs, and then you have really good head coaches, and you have good uh, understudies under them, and you have great players. This is a good teams, so it's going to be a great game. What is a game you're looking forward to? Let me know in the comments below. With that said, folks, adios.